Namaste and welcome. At this point of the journey, I should share a little bit about myself and my own journey, just so you know who is speaking with you and what their journey entails and why it's benefit uh, of my sharing with you along the way. I started out in an esoteric Christian order at the age of 18. During the midst of our regular evening prayers, I bent and kneeled before the altar, and Father Blyton laid his hands on my head, and at that moment, a gold light went through my body. I can remember to this day the gold light that pierced my body was about four inches in width, <clears throat> absolute gold. I was nailed to the floor, one could say. And at that present moment is when the Kundalini became activated. I looked around and was seeing the auras, and the aura around the cross on the altar was purple. The glow around the cross that was on the wall was gold. That started my journey in earnest. With that, I left the order not too long after that. The founder of the order passed and the order changed, as they will. And I started the internal search. I studied the Bible for three years with great depth of contemplation. From there I remembered my past life as a Buddhist monk, and all that past knowledge came flooding back within me. From there I spent some time with Iskon, with Prabhupada when he was alive. And he told me at that time you will reach realization in this lifetime to spur me forward within my journey. I thanked him, but it was not my place to be there and I never took initiation within that. But I have to say while I was there it was a great experience because I learned a lot about the movement of bhakti and what is this devotional path within. From there, I continued in my own journey. I sat down at the age of 29 to meditate, and the kundalini went full bore, right up the spine. The heat was intense. The kundalini was extremely active for the rest of my journey. Fortunately for me, I was drawn to India and I met my guru who was a fully established tantric master. Not tantra as one thinks of in the West as being taught through sexual dynamics. He was truly a tantric master. At that point he helped to cut through the rest of the identifications and this in turn led me onwards to where I was in Rishikesh and I also had another guru there as well. Within Rishikesh, I sat on the banks of the Ganges. This was in 99. All of a sudden, the last great fear arose, where you don't know if it's going to be possession or if you're going to cease to exist entirely. But in that moment, I knew I had done everything that I could do in my past, and the only thing left to do was to surrender 100%. In that moment, I said on the altar of truth, I lay myself. And within the next moment, there was no me. There was no world. There was only that great is, which is beyond debate, beyond doubt, with more reality than anything this world has to offer, anything that you can see. In that moment, the conditioned mind is gone. It's gone. One dissolves within that. And what remains at that moment is realization. And one comes back within the world in a whole different cognition, a whole different life, a whole different being emerges. So this is what I wish to share with others. How to break through the Kundalini drama and not to focus on phenomena that takes place along the way, but how to reach realization, which is the freeing of the self from the conditioned mind. Namaste.